Welcome to an adventure with Honey in Siberia. We're going to just continue exploring the last of the area here. No need to go down there. See if there is any last bit of information or items we can find. No need to go down there. We left the game with the uh, with a notary who was informing us about Hans, and we have some new information. We have to find him before we can continue. Otherwise, sail can't go through. All right, we can't go any further. Just gonna make sure, yeah, we can't go any further. So, time to head back the other direction. So what I would like to do is just finish the village and then we can enter a nice section of time over at the uh, home, the Boulderberg home. Hello? Kate? Dan, I'm so pleased to hear your voice. How are you, honey? Did you have a good journey? Have you settled in? It was long, tiring, damp especially, but I'm okay. Especially when you... Everything going as planned? Yeah, I mean, well, not really. It's not exactly what I thought it would be. You know, everything's so different here. Actually, while we're on the subject, I managed to free myself up some more lunchtime. I'll come and meet you at the airport. I hope the flight from Paris won't be delayed. We're expected at the Goldbergs about 8 o'clock. I hope you have the time to take a shower and change, my poor honey bun. Dan, I don't think the Goldbergs tomorrow night is really on. Don't worry, Kate. You'll be as perfect as ever. Anyway, you never have to wear much to look really great. Dan, Dan, I I'm going to have to extend my stay here. There's one or two complications. You understand? Kate, honey, what are you talking about? It's only a measly toy factory. The sale isn't going through as expected. I I've got to stay a bit longer. Dan... You don't mind, do you? But Kate, Katie, you can't do this to me. I mean, it's the Goldberg contract. There's millions of dollars on the line here. I know, I'm sorry. You go ahead. Don't worry about me. I'll get back as soon as I can, I promise. Okay, I I I've got to go. I'll call you back soon. Love you, honey. All right, quick. Let's get off the screen. Whether they are fiancé or... Whether he's her fiancé or they're just dating, we don't know. But that definitely did not go well. Here is a local. Let's go ahead and see what he has to say. Good morning. Good morning. What a pleasure to meet such a lovely young lady honoring our aging streets. Please, uh, please sit yourself down next to me so we can enjoy the air together. It would be a pleasure. But I'm afraid I don't have the time. Some other time, maybe. I hope so, miss. I remember when these streets were full of vibrant life. In those days, there was a charming encounter to be had round every corner. Ah, our good little town of Valadilen is not what it used to be. It looks like things have changed a bit around here. Our children have all left the valley. They need to earn a living, don't they? Can't really blame them. You have to move with the times, don't you? And it's not at the Vorlberg factory that they'll find jobs. <laughs> Being excluded from the world is not an easy burden to bear, believe you me, miss. But it's such a pretty little village. Uh, I can tell you're not from these parts. I hope you enjoy the pleasures that we still have to offer. Good day to you. All right, so he's just local color, I guess. No real story progressing information and here we are going back to the church this is where we started the game it's open funeral must be all over let's see what we can find hello Kate so what's new we've got a problem mr. Marson what problem? Come on, Kate. Don't beat around the bush. There's maybe an heir. 
What? Hans, Anna Varlberg's brother. Uh, looks like he's still alive. We can't buy the factory without his consent. What? What is this? Where's this mystery brother come from? And more to the point, where is he? What did the notary say? Nothing. I mean, nothing else. You know, sir, it's an odd town here. Everything's odd. The people, things... The situation's not straightforward. I have a small bit of research to do. Listen to me, Kate. Universal Toys is one of our biggest clients, and I don't care how weird that town is. All that matters is that you do not set foot back in New York before you've tied up the deal. Get the picture. Yes, Mr. Marson. You can count on me. I... Darn it! All right, so you there you heard it. We're not going home until we get this settled. No point. It's locked. <gasps> Looks like we have a church cemetery, so let's check it out. Hoping to find Hans's tomb, tombstone, doesn't look like it. Just a pretty gothic old graveyard. So let's keep going. Ah, this could be the mausoleum, the tomb. This is definitely Hans Vorberg's supposed place of rest. I can't go that way. Or at least the family of Vorberg. It could be... It could be Rudolph for all we know. I do like the cape. The rusty cape draped over the side. That looked nice. Alright, well, let's see where else we can go. Doesn't look like that works. Let's take a look over here. Ah. This is exactly what Hans, not Hans, um, what Momo was showing us. There at the table, what he didn't want to show us, but this is exactly what he had been working on. Adventure games like to throw little hints and puzzle solutions on the walls in weird places, so there we go. Of course, you don't exactly need that since the cursor shows you what goes where. Alright. Kind of creepy looking. Iron pieces. Oh, go away, bird. <laughs> it worked. Alright. If that's going to work, it looks like something's missing. Yeah. He doesn't look like he needs a key so much as... as a, a paper or a, or a card of some sort. Looks like he might be attached to the church bells. Let's go see what we can find. It's a good thing we found those gears since there's no stairs or anything to get up there. Makes you wonder what Momo was doing with them to begin with. Alright, anybody home? Okay. Looks like we're in the priest home? Waiting room? Hmm. Let's take a look over here. I can't 
can't open it. I need a key. Oh, this thing's jammed. All right, well, it won't let us open any of the drawers. So let's see what else we can find. I think that's going to send me that direction. It's not an item. Even the crucifix is a clockwork. Aha! Alright. It's an interesting hiding place. Let's go ahead and put the key in. Oh, this thing's jammed. Alright, time to look through the priest drawers. Feel kind of bad, but it is an adventure game after all. Another one, and another one. All right, let's take a look at those cards. Red punch card, blue punch card, green, and purple. Doesn't really give us much information. I guess we'll just have to try them out. Can't do anything with this stuff. Let's see if we can go out the door. No point. It's locked. Alright, those punch cards look like they're gonna fit that automaton up top at the bell tower. Kinda like an old player piano, I guess. So let's go play some music. Gimberg. All right. Silent night. Let's see what blue does. Here comes the bride. I guess that's just to get everybody's attention. I no longer need these punch cards. That was kind of creepy. All right. Going to take a quick break. Hope you watch the next part because the adventure will continue. See ya.